And I'm back. Okay, Town Called Mercy, let's go. Oh, but first, once again, spoiler warning. Alright, okay, it's a western episode! I love these. Nothing says badass quite like a cowboy. And now classic fans will know that the last time we saw a real western episode of Doctor Who was all the way back in 1966. So of course, it's a joy to see the Doctor once again don the Stetson and a holstered gun to have fun in the Old West. And we have another more fun episode, but it's got its moments, which I'll talk about. So the Doctor and company wander into the town of Mercy, which has been kind of terrorized by this alien cyborg who has demanded that the town hand over the Doctor. The townspeople, upon finding out that the Doctor refers to himself as such, immediately grab him and intend to throw him out for the cyborg, whom they refer to as the Gunslinger. Don't really know why though, honestly. He doesn't so much sling his gun as he does have it attached to his arm a la Mega Man. But whatever, it makes him sound cool and intimidating. So the gunslinger is doing this cool teleporting move over to where the people have thrown the doctor out of the town boundary. But then the marshal steps in and saves him and tells the townspeople that he's not the doctor the gunslinger is looking for. The doc and crew come back to the marshal's office where he elaborates on what's happening here. The gunslinger hasn't killed anybody yet, but he's blocking supplies from coming into town, so they're in a pretty bad spot. And the doctor he's really looking for is this alien hiding out here, Jax, who's been living as a doctor in the town, helping out a lot with his alien technological know-how. So naturally, the doctor's out to save Jax and the town, but he wants to know the whole story first, so he goes out investigating on his own. He finds Jax's ship, gets in and hacks the computer with, you know, sonic screwdriver, and he discovers that Jax is actually a sort of mad scientist who forcefully experimented on his people and made them cyborgs to aid his side in a war. This, of course, disgusts the Doctor, who comes back furious and tries to deliver Jax over to the Gunslinger, who is one of his creations, gone a little screwy and out for revenge against his creator. Jax tries to explain his actions, that his race had fought in this war for nine years and it had totally decimated the population, so the creation of these cyborgs was a desperate act to win the war, which it quickly did. Now, I could actually draw some serious parallels between this and the Khaled's, who went on to become the Daleks through a very similar story, as shown in the classic fourth Doctor story, Genesis of the Daleks. So that was kind of interesting to me. Jax at one point even pulls the whole we're not so different you and I thing with the Doctor, which I also thought was cool. The Doctor gets this nice dark moment when he wants to let the gunslinger kill Jax because whenever he shows mercy, good people end up getting hurt, and he doesn't want that to happen anymore. He even pulls a gun on Jax as they stand at the border waiting for the gunslinger to arrive. Amy tries to talk him out of it and explains that this isn't how they roll. And then the doctor has these cool lines where he says that he's thinking about the victims first now, and that he's done with trying to understand people like Jax, the Daleks, and the Master. Which is awesome! Name dropping the Master? That's cool, man. I can really appreciate that. But so the gunslinger makes his arrival and stands before Jex, ready to get his revenge. Jex tries to tell him that he's turned over a new leaf, but this doesn't seem to sway the cyborg, and he's about to fire when the marshal pushes Jex out of the way and takes the blast. He dies in the doctor's arms, and his last act is to give the doctor his marshal's badge, making the doc the new big gun in town. Now all this kind of happens really fast, and at the time I thought, wow, this was really sudden, not really much feeling here, just kind of things quickly happened. So I'd say that maybe this episode had some pacing issues here, but oh well. Anyway, the gunslinger gives the town a deadline now and says that if they don't deliver Jax to him by noon tomorrow, he'll cross the boundary into town and hunt for him himself, which may result in some collateral damage. So the doc has to come up with a plan to get Jax off world. But Jax actually says he'd been trying to repent for his past deeds by helping the people of Mercy. The Doctor gets more dark when he tries to explain to him that that isn't how justice works and that you have to pay for your crimes. But Jax explains that he will because his people believe that when you die, you stand accountable to the souls that you've wronged when you enter the afterlife. And considering all the people he's wronged in his life, he'll be really screwed. So he both fears but knows that death is his only way for salvation. Pretty heavy stuff. I dig it. So the next day, the gunslinger walks into town, meets the doctor, prepares to start his rampage for Jex, when the doc and the town execute their plan to distract the gunslinger as they let Jex escape on his ship. They're successful, but Jex decides that it's time for him to put the final end on this old war, and he blows his ship up with himself. The gunslinger, now without a purpose, says he'll go self-destruct in the middle of the desert. 
but the doctor suggests that the gunslinger become the town's new protector. And he gives him the marshal's badge, and he, Rory, and Amy say goodbye to the townspeople and leave off in the TARDIS, leaving the gunslinger to live on as the sole legendary guardian of the town. Alright, so what's the verdict? I think it was a good episode. Still more of a fun one, but also it had some good character moments for the Doctor, and I'm always up to see that. Amy and Rory were pretty out of the way here, but whatever. The Gunslinger was a cool, I don't want to say villain, but threat, I guess? Conflict. Yeah, that's a good one. Jex was also a decent conflicty character, at least just for what he meant with the Doctor and all of that. The Marshal was a cool dude for, you know, as long as he was there. So yeah, good stuff. Not bad. Alright, that's it for it now. Stay absolutely fantastic, and I'll see you next time.